Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. I'm Sandy, and I'm so happy that you are here with me. Today, I'm going to show you how to upcycle an empty jumbo cheese ball container into a gorgeous glam lantern that can be used both indoors and outdoors. I will list out all the materials, and if you would like, you can also visit my blog site at creativity.com for all the details. If you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would also love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. To begin, I will show you the materials. All the materials are from Dollar Tree unless otherwise stated. We will need an empty jumbo cheese ball plastic container. This one cost me nothing since I got it from a family member. We will also need a sports disc. These I found at Dollar Tree sold in a pair, and I have only seen them at Dollar Tree once, so if you see them, grab a few as they make great lampshade. We will also need a large clear Christmas ball ornament and a silver napkin ring, which Dollar Tree sells six in a pack. We will also need a battery-operated LED string light or fairy light. Although Dollar Tree sells them, I picked up this one from Amazon. Purchased in bulk, it only cost a dollar per string light and already comes with the battery. We will also need the silver stem from a plastic champagne glass. The one I will be using from Dollar Tree comes in a pack of four and the stem is detachable. We will also need a wooden dowel or a silver plastic straw. We will also need some rope. Mine is silver and was found at Dollarama. Dollar Tree has similar ones in black as well as white. We will also need some gem embellishments, whatever you already have on hand. The gem stickers I have on hand are from Dollar Tree and from Dollarama. I'll be using some silver rhinestone ribbon as well that I have left over from Amazon. To help us with today's DIY project, we will also need a soldering iron. Mine was purchased from Amazon. And as per most of my DIY craft projects, we will also be needing our handy dandy hot glue gun. This one I'll be using was also purchased from Amazon. The first step is to spray paint one of the sports discs as it will require a couple of coats and an hour of drying time in between. Once painted, set it aside for later as this will become the top cover of our lantern. Then take a wooden dowel or silver straw in my case and mark off with a pen or marker a length that is slightly wider than the mouth of the container. Then cut the dowel or straw down to size. Next, using your soldering iron, carefully create a small dip at the top of the container opening on either side as this is where the dowel or straw will sit. Be careful with the soldering iron as it can be very hot. Once done, immediately turn off and unplug the soldering iron. Then take the string lights and unravel it before inserting it into the Christmas ball ornament. When inserting the lights, leave the on-off switch and about 2 inches of the string to hang outside of the ball. This will then become the light bulb for the lantern. Then take some rope and string it through the Christmas ball ornament hook. Then leave enough rope to tie a knot so that the Christmas ball ornament that is now holding the string lights inside it can hang from the straw that is placed across the mouth of the container.
You can also use some hot glue to secure the rope to the straw so that the Christmas ornament can stay inside in the center of the container without sliding around. Take one of the plastic champagne glasses and remove the stem from it. Put the rest of the champagne glass aside for a future project, as we will only need the stem for this project. Using the soldering iron, widen the opening in the center of the stem. Then take another piece of rope and loop it to the rope already tied to the straw and then insert the rest of the second rope through the stem hole that we just widened. It should be a pretty tight squeeze so that the rope will stay secure without sliding out of the hole. This will then allow you to hang the lantern if you prefer to rather than placing it on the table surface. Then glue down the stem to the top of the sports disc. Then slide the rope through the silver napkin ring and glue the napkin ring to the stem. Next, you can either hot glue the on-off switch to the inner portion of the sports disc or what I ended up doing was using a bit of scotch tape to tape it down instead. Since it will be sitting in the inner portion of the sports disc, it will not be visible, but it will be convenient to turn the lantern on or off. The final step is to embellish the lantern with gems and silver rhinestone ribbon or with whatever embellishments you prefer to use. In my opinion, this part is definitely the most fun part of the project. You can glam up the lantern as much or as little as you want. Here I am starting with glamming up the top cover of the lantern. I'm embellishing the body of the lantern.
And here I decide to go back and add more embellishments to further amp up the glam factor. And finally, here is the final look of our Jumbo Glam Lantern. It looks absolutely exquisite and no one would have thought you could make something so beautiful from an empty cheese ball container. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY Glam project. I hope to see you all soon!